What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, and we are starting a new show. I am very, very excited. This is going to be replacing Ranking of Kings. This is called Kaguya Sama Love is War. Now, all the time before I start a new show on the channel, I let you guys know what I know. I let you guys know all the deets. So, before I get into anything, if you guys are unaware, the free full length, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, with the first and last episode of every season of every show is available for everyone so click that link in the top of the description come back here for the review if you guys did enjoy that consider checking out that patreon great benefits over there fantastic time also if you guys want to watch this live with me we are over on twitch right now as i'm sure you guys can see with chat come over watch this with us it's a great time appreciate you guys immensely um kaguya sama love is war i can tell from the titles that they're kind of especially what chat told me kind of split up into three parts for every title I know absolutely nothing about the show. I've been told I'm going to love it. I've been told it's very funny. I know season three is airing right now. So hopefully we can catch up in a timely manner and watch it live. That'd be super dope. But other than that, I'm going in completely blind. And you guys know how what that means to me with shows. It's my favorite thing. The less I know, the better. So with that being said, I say I stop wasting your guys' time. We hop right on into this. Kaguya Sama, Love is War, Episode 1. I will make you invite me to a movie, slash, Kaguya wants to be stopped, slash, Kaguya wants it. I don't know where to go with that title, but I'm excited to find this out. Let, let's do this. Confession. Confession. We got elephants, giraffes at our wedding, getting married under the sun, but that's not what we want. I mean, it's not as black and white as that, but to a certain extent, then you mustn't become a loser. Love is war. Okay. So far, I'm What the hell? Shuchin Academy. This, I mean, I do know in anime, the student council are like damn near presidents, you know? Kaguya. Total assets 200. Oh. She's nice. That is Kaguya Shinomiya. Okay. Okay. This is uh, very over the top so far, but in the best way possible. In the absolute best way possible. In contrast to Kaguya. <laughs> Two hundred years. Okay. I am very curious. This is a great three D shot of a pretty normal looking student council room. Why is it so fancy? <laughs> That's normal for their age. You should ignore it. Those imbeciles. Nonsensical love affairs. That is that is true. Teenagers love that. Okay, at least you would mull it over. I love, I already love the inner head monologues that we have. I need to talk to you. Oh, president. Yeah, and she does not seem like that type of girl at all. I mean, hey, see, she's even considering it a very, very slight possibility. If he had offered his body, soul, and hometown. They're both very confident in themselves and the attraction of the other person. They're both like, why are they laughing like that? They did that for half a year, okay. <laughs> Student Council Secretary, Chika Fujiwara. Oh, we're going to see a movie and there's a steamed bun. <laughs> da -da -da. Like, the way it's over the top, like I've said in the best way possible, is so much like Death Note, with these intense, like, zoom up on their face. Like, it's literally like it's life or death, as in, like, Death Note is. But they're talking about going to a movie, you know, it's just... <laughs> it's so funny, I love it. Mm. Oh, now he's going on the offensive. He, that was a good reverse card. And he's on the offensive, I like it, good play! This is like a, this is like a love, this is like the art of war, because love is war. 
Oh, wow, really? She went through all that? That was that was also a good reverse card. It's a negotiating <laughs> Damn. Checkmate, as one would say. This is literally like Death Note, except for high school love. I fucking love it already. And there's an actual solution to the issue. Chaos theory. <laughs> an element of chaos into the theories that were all but completed. The variables! It's insane! They need replenishment. They need brain power. Okay. So far, she's my favorite character, Chica, just off rip so far. Today's battle result, both sides defeated. Again, not what I expected this show to be about at all. Look at this. <laughs> it's like 20th Century Fox. <laughs> what? What are we watching? Ara? Is this where the Ara Ara comes from? I hear that on Valorant all the time. Girls trying to get me all messed up when I'm trying to clutch a 1v5. Oh, a love letter. Oh, this will put a wrench in the plans, huh? <laughs> this like me. This, do they not know any man compared to me would be nothing more than a talking weed? That's a valid point for reasoning. I don't know about all that. I think she's obviously playing this. <laughs> he rebroke. <laughs> it literally is a talking weed. Oh my. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Oh my god. Right? No, she's obviously not doing this. That's the Kaguya we know so far. Damn, we got four different talking heads about why you're not gonna do it? Am, is that me? Am I the talking weed? I better not be the talking weed. <laughs> so it's not him saying that, it's his role saying that. That is an exaggeration slightly. Damn. Tattle to the teacher, the ace up the sleeve. <laughs> yeah, it's it's effective but risky. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Look at the fire in her eyes. Oh my god. She is committing to this act. Major <laughs> Wow, he said that out loud? Good, just for argument? Just for the sake of the argument, really? Uh... Damn, called her bluff. She didn't also come- <laughs> his legs are actually sinking. <laughs> Hey, confession of love, here you go. She doesn't want anyone to have you. She doesn't want you to be expelled. So far, in terms of these battles, Chica has been the saving grace in stopping their, their craziness. Today's battle result. Kaguya defeated. Good. The last time it was a tie, this time it was Kaguya defeated. Kaguya wants it. So she's jealous. She wants someone to do that to her. Damn, that is a great looking lunch. Achieving harmony with fresh ingredients. That is the lunch Kaguya knows. Raw <laughs> wieners roll on. This is the commoner's bento. Wiener slice. <laughs> Next time I have a hot dog, I'm slicing it to look like an octopus. I don't care. See? See how easy it is when you don't play around, Kaguya? Right? Oh. Delicious. Damn. Kaguya is for real. 
And of course, he's misreading the situation. Ooh, hot miso soup? Man, both these guys have fantastic lunches. That's an indirect kiss. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm gonna get so frustrated wanting these two to fall in love, but they just simply won't because of their game. Oh my god. This is so funny. And Chica has no idea. She just wants some yummy octopus wieners, you know? The next day. Damn. She has a fucking... What is that? A, a falcon? It is quite enticing. <laughs> but no, they're good with their lunches. It's like we're watching Hunter Hunter now, Jesus Christ. She wants she wants the wiener so bad. You guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. I'd be so happy with octopus wiener. She said it herself. That is hilarious. Cattle and human form. Prideless parasite. Oh my god. All that nutrition to your chest, nothing for your brain. Oh my god. I did not think the show would be about Kaguya depending on getting some octopus wieners. She got her wiener. Open up. Oh, she's like, what are you talking about? You're definitely not a cattle. Today's battle result, Kaguya won. I mean, it's debatable. She did get her wiener, so she did win. Shouts out, Kaguya. All right, time to get into episode two. This one's called Kaguya Wants to Trade, Chika Wants to Go Somewhere, and Miyuki Wants to Hide His Ignorance. Let's do this. Oh, he got a phone. Let's exchange IDs. <laughs> She's just not asking at all. <sighs> oh. That meaning is in fact love. There could be no other answer. This is so funny. <laughs> he asked for her number. <gasps> for a boy going through puberty, that means death. Hey, you're not wrong. Ask for it or be asked for it. Kill or be killed. Wait, uh, wait did, did I just read that correctly? There's so much going on. Because she did the... Oh my god, I love this. How it's always like he's stuck in a situation. Should I ask her or not? Or... <laughs> and it's always her who set it up. She set up the movie last episode. Is her house cook. It's her gardener, her attendant. <laughs> just to make sure he gets it, then asks you. But then you cannot like, oh my god. Uh oh, not the tr not the baby photos. <laughs> I would have never thought of this as a play. <laughs> if I don't add him right now, I won't see his profile picture. Casual messages before bed. I love the chat, the e the fucking stickers, the emotes. Don't listen to her, women. Ask men for their number. Shoot your shot. She just whips out the tears. What's going on? <laughs> what what play is she doing now? Yep. The bar numb infect. Really? I gotta look that up, because that is true. That is very facts. <laughs> Though it was a fleeting glimpse, has been preserved in her hippocampus. He's like, no! Damn, you gotta get an upgrade. N neither of them even knew. I know, you're rich. She has an attachment to it. <laughs> Results of today's match, both lose. Yep. And they did it. Okay. Facts, Chica, facts. Time flies. <laughs> and that's literally 80 damage to both of them because they're both wasting so much time. Yes. Okay. I love the mountains. Fresh air. 
Beautiful scenery. Ooh, a mountaintop, a little cabin with grilling. Rent a cottage, have a barbecue. A starry sky. That's a good little daydream right there. Of course he would know the constellations. There's a constellation named Altair. So close, yet so far. And Chica's gonna be like, no, let's go to Subway or something, you know? I want to, I want to hear, I want, I've never heard astrology flirting before. You're a pampered first magnitude stunt guy. It has to be the mountains. She's thinking the beach. They are the complete opposite. The polar opposite. They are the, the, the natural con controversy of going out you know on a vacation the mountains or the beach that's the biggest advocate for the beach i'm just saying that's the number one reason always right there Ooh, with the sea the sunset on the horizon oh that is a that is a big point yeah if you had floaties it's over yeah it's over You either have to learn how to swim before you go, or go to the mountains. A good rebuttal. That's, oh, you can't, no, damn. She has a private, oh, private beach? Sunburn? Oh, damn. She'll even bring an est esthetician. Might be sharks? She'll bring a hunter. Fucking Steve Irwin, she'll bring Steve Irwin from heaven, RIP. <laughs> Things the president is likely to say, volume 42, trip edition. She has it all calculated. If I couldn't swim, I'm taking the mountain still. I'm taking bugs over the over the ocean if I can't swim. That's a tough one for sure. She didn't think of that. You didn't think of she could don't don't give me that shot. Don't give, damn. That's the one variable in your plan you did not calculate for, huh? Was she could on the level of a pea shooter. <laughs> she has a tank class confidence in her body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Now they flipped. Oh, wow. Mount Osore. Mount Osor. Osore. What the hell? Yeah, remind me to never go on vacation with Chica. What the hell? Ruined. Yes, because Chica is... Hell no. What, did it, what was it called? Children's Limbo and Blood Pond? Absolutely not. I mean, if anyone's gonna give advice, it's the guy who's rumored to be dating Kaguya, so hey. I get it. Gaicho! Yeah. But, in these kind of situations, you gotta fake it till you make it. So they're 17. Okay. <laughs> virgin, yep. Hey, I was a virgin till I was 18. There is nothing wrong with being a virgin at that age. We're focused on our studies. But no, he can't let that get out. I get him. He can't let that get out. I've never been... Oh, now he's digging himself into a hole. Oh, oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I definitely think that's an important part to play. Yeah, have you even talked to her before? Yeah, it seems... Pretty obligatory. I would not confess just based off that alone. <laughs> no. No. This time Kaguya is so right. I mean, I get what he's saying, but no. No. This is the girl you're trying to confess to? E <laughs> It's unfortunate, but she was most definitely me. Okay. This man, Miyuki, is setting this man up for failure. 
This is what I wish happened when girls made fun of guys, but no, it is absolutely not like this. No, literally, cannot be. I know, this is so over the top. I'm hoping, I'm praying it works out for my man, but there's just no way it is. There's just no way. <laughs> like the girl in question is for you, like literally. Oh, Jesus, she is getting... No, do not do that with someone you don't know will like that. Anxiety will turn in certain situ- like... The wall down. Don't get me wrong. The wall down- he didn't come up with that. The wall down can work. But <laughs> it's not your go-to thing. Do not be a go-to wall downer. Oh, please. Yeah. Damn. All the misinterpretations from her <laughs> trying to uh, play her games. She has zero self-awareness. Oh, and her chest. Dang. I guess it's a good thing she's hearing this. It's somewhat of a confession right now, but not fully, but... Oh, okay, he saw her. He saw her. Okay, he saw her. Oh, good save. Good save. If this man tries to confess to the girl who was making fun of him and does the wall down, I am actually hoping I see that. I would love to. Damn it, I wanted... Oh! Shouts out, my dude! Okay! Miyuki with the clutch advice. Was not expecting that. Okay, wall downer. What kind of result is this? Okay. Well, in terms of what I was expecting, which wasn't really anything much because I had no expectations going into this, versus what I got, even though I had no expectations, was night and day. I, like it sounds so preemptive, I know, but similar to Spy Family, I'm already almost caught up to the amount of episodes I've seen of Spy Family. I'm already thoroughly loving this anime. I love how it's it's sectioned off into three segments per episode, and it's like these little day-by-day -day stories of... Because, I mean, when you think about middle school and high school and stuff like that, it is really day-by-day, -day, you know? Like, each individual one's a different story, and so I just love how we have these little acts, and I love how it's a game. It's a, it's a war. It's a strategic simulation. It's a, a theorized battle, and it's all about confessing our love. Also... It's like Yu-Gi-Oh with the whole, oh, you think you have a strategy? I was two steps ahead the whole time. I play my this card. It's also like Death Note with them trying to interpret what the other person is going to do. Trying to It's so funny. And, oh, it's like a rom-com Death Note Yu-Gi-Oh. And I never would have ever thought a combination of those <laughs> would pique my interest. But I must say, animation-wise, what would you guys say? It was A1, the same studio who did 86. I love the animation. I love how aesthetically they are very heavy on the saturation. Like her eyes, her theme is super red. Miyuki's theme is super blue. They stick with that. They'll have these crazy outlandish backgrounds and scenes when they're in their inner monologues and, they're, and they get shocked. You know, I just, it's so extra, but in the best way possible. Like I, I am thoroughly enjoying the animation. I need to hear more of the soundtrack before I can get a full taste of it, but overall like i can totally tell why this show is as popular as it is and why people are super hyped that it's currently airing with season three stuff like that i don't know i'm just i was i was very very pleasantly surprised with those two episodes um i love the di dynamic between miyuki and kaguya how they're both one up on each other all the time and how miyuki even though i think i i wouldn't say he's smarter than kaguya because kaguya is a fucking genius but uh, how Kagi is like the perfect woman, how she has all these accolades. Her family is one of the richest families you can find. And she's vice president. So it's like, it's crazy. And yet she, it's, it's I don't know. And I, I think so far my favorite character, you guys have said best boy is coming. I'm excited for that. But so far, I just love Chika. She's one of those characters 
who messes everything up because she's just so innocent and just doesn't know what's going on. And it's just so cute, and I love it. And the whole episode about octopus wieners was just so funny. I don't know. I'm just thoroughly enjoying it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed that free full length, check out that Patreon. You guys can continue those benefits. Also, check out the Twitch. You guys can watch the full length with me over there. Um, great time. Great community. Uh, don't forget to check out all the other social medias. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. I had to reach over and grab my water. I'm going to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.